I got the car jacked up and right now I got this creeper that I bought from AutoZone. My first time using a creeper. It's weird, it's a weird feeling, but I'll see how I like it. We just gotta get under there and then loosen that drain plug with our half inch, so. All right, so I got my half inch, Jesus. All right, I broke it loose already. I'm gonna get some gloves. Wow, that's not in bad condition at all. And there's almost no shavings on the magnet. All right, let's get her back in. Are there torque sensors? Because, I don't know. All right, so to take the drive shaft out, there's four bolts that connected to the diff, right? So the bolts that I can reach, I have to loosen with the parking brake on. And the one that I can't reach, I have to take the parking brake off, spin the drive shaft, and then loosen it after I reapply the parking brake. So we're gonna get those four out. Then there's two right here for the carrier bearing. The drive shaft should easily just pull out of the tail end of the transmission. And this busted rotor, but I had to take off the wheel just so I can get better like, so, so I can get more space under here. So now with the wheel off, I can reach behind here and you can see I got this one loose. So that's one out already. And it's just a lot easier to break them from the back as opposed to the front. Because when you do it from the front, there's no space to fit a socket or a wrench in there unless you grind it down. Oh my God, my car is tilted like crazy. All right, I have the fronts chopped up and the rears too. So now I'm going to have to disengage the parking brake, turn the drive shaft, and re-engage the parking brake. Because this is sketchy, bro. It's not even on the jack stand. The jack stand is just there in case the jack fails. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so sketchy, dude. And this is not easy to spin not easy to turn bro 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 am i bro that wheel has a <laughs> Yo, somebody please help me the reason this doesn't work is because if this wheel's not off the ground like the drive shaft's connected to the diff, which connects to the axles and then to the wheels. So if that was on the ground, it's not going to spin, aka drive shaft can't spin. So, <laughs> fail on my part. I could finesse this because we don't have time to move this right now. And we broke it loose. We're going to leave that bolt in there for now, just take the locking nut off. Alright. <laughs> Alright guys, so I just took out the carrier bearing bolts. Now I'm going to pull it out from the diff, and then we can pull it out from the tail end of the trans. And this thing's really heavy too, by the way. See there? Yeah, there's a little bit coming out. All right, so the car's back down on the ground. Now I'm just tightening up this wheel that I took off. I don't have a torque wrench yet, but trust me, once the car's running and driving, I will have one. The drive shaft's actually a lot smaller than I thought it would be. I'm gonna go inside, do that snap ring. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is take off the parking brake, give us a little more space. See if we can get the dust bit over to shift it. <clears throat> Going on. Throw that somewhere. What is that, man? Pull that cover up. We'll just flip it on itself. Or it's not gonna damage it. And then you could see that snap ring right there. 
All right, these are from OEM Tools. It's just some snap ring pliers. These were like 20 bucks and it came with like three interchangeable, what do you call these? Three interchangeable heads. I'm just gonna call it a head. I don't know what the actual term for it is, but. All right, so you guys can see I got that snap ring out. Now, taking this out is as easy as pulling up like that. And your shifter assembly is out. You can see in there, it just comes right out. All right, guys. So today we just drained the fluid, pulled the dry shaft, pulled the shifter assembly. So. Yeah.